Hi everybody, it's Jen Sheffer. Thank you so much for joining me for today's training tutorial. Today we are looking at how we can share a completed Nearpod lesson with our students. I'm going to show you a few different methods and you can choose the one that works best for you. So to start, you are going to be in your Nearpod dashboard and you can see here I have a completed lesson all about dinosaurs that I want to share with my students and I want this to be a live participation. So this will work whether you are in person doing hybrid instruction or you are going to do this with your students during the remote portion of the day, during the science and social studies time, or if you are 100% remote. So you can select live participation and this is going to be an interactive lesson for you and your students. So the first method I'd like to show you is how would you send a Nearpod lesson to your students using a join code through Google Meet? So what you will do is you will hover over that lesson and you're gonna select live participation. You're going to get a code that you will share with your students. The students can join your lesson with this code either through Safari or through the Nearpod app. So they can install the app from self-service or they can go into Safari and they can enter the code. So this will be um, the first method that I'm going to show you. The screen will load in just a moment. Um, and then we are going, going, excuse me, we're going to copy and paste the code into Google Meet into the chat box. So now that the code has loaded, you can see you have the instructions here to go to join.nearpod.com or they can go into the app. They're going to enter this code here, this 9FCJP. Um, so what we're gonna do as a teacher is I'm gonna highlight this and I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go into my Google Meet. I have a Google Meet tab open here. I'm gonna click on the chat box and I am going to paste down below here that code and I'm gonna send it along to my students. I've been testing this um, and you can see here I have sent a previous code, but that is the current code that I want my students to use. So they're going to, from their device, they're going to enter this code either through join.nearpod.com or in the app. It's probably more convenient for them to do it through the app. So that's method number one, sharing the code. The second way you can do this, and if you have first or second graders that are using Seesaw and they're very proficient with it, this method of sharing a Nearpod may work better for them. Um, so what you would do if you wanna share it through Seesaw is you're gonna click on this link button here. You're going to, it's very faint down here in the bottom, but I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna click copy. I'm gonna go into my Seesaw class. I'm gonna hit the plus button and you can select either post student work so it goes in the journal or you can click send announcement. If you click send announcement, you could select all students and families. So both students and families would receive it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and click on post student work. It's gonna go into the journal I'm not going to select a sign activity because there's no template associated with this Nearpod lesson. It's just sending them the link to access this Nearpod lesson. So I'm going to select link. And then from there, I'm going to paste the, the share uh, link, the, the lesson link from Nearpod with my students. I'm going to click on that green check mark. And then I'm going to click it again at the top here on the right hand corner so that it will post to the journal. The students, uh, it's highly visual for the students. Um, so if they're first and second grade, uh, that is really beneficial for them to see that large Nearpod icon. So I'm gonna click on a student, uh, sample student, so you can see what this looks like. I'm skipping the folder select uh, section, but if you wanted to make a Nearpod folder, um, then you can certainly do that. So this Nearpod link is going to open in the journal and we can click on it from our sample student perspective to see what they would see. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it once. It's gonna open up into a screen where I can actually click on the paperclip link. There we go. It's going to open up into that lesson and then I can begin once all my students have um, opened up the lesson. So again, probably the simplest method is to just take the code 
paste it into the Google Meet chat box. Your students will open it from either join.nearpod.com through Safari or through the app. The app will be available to them in self-service so they can simply sign into Nearpod with their Google account and enter that lesson, providing you with their name so you can see which students are in the lesson and you can also track the um, activity of your students. So as you can see here, that's exactly what I'm talking about. It is saying to me as a student, welcome to your lesson. So you can let the students know, I'd like you to put your name, first and last name, then your students are going to click on join lesson. So Nearpod is device agnostic. It's going to work on any device. So when the lesson begins, your students see the cover slide, which is what you are presenting to them on the teacher side. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this box. So you are presenting to them the cover slide. And again, this, that's exactly what the student sees. When you begin the lesson by clicking the um, slide advance button here on the right, the first thing that they see is a 3D image. If I go back over to my student account, that 3D image is also going to appear. So you are controlling in real time what your students see. Um, I'm going to be bringing additional tutorials uh, to you. So um, hopefully you feel confident that um, you know how to share a lesson. If a student were to join your Google Meet late, for example, at any time, say you've already started, you're, you're on your second slide, this code right here, you can present your screen so your students would see this code. So if they join a few minutes late, they can go ahead and enter that code and they'll be caught right up. They'll be on the second slide along with their classmates and you can get them up to speed. So uh, I appreciate your time. I hope this was clear. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'm available for one-on-one -on -one or small group training live. So please um, reach out to me through email if you want to set something up. I appreciate you watching this and stay tuned for additional tutorials. I'll see you soon.